I have been doing my top five picks at the drugstore. Sometimes it ends up being top 10 and sometimes it ends up being a little more, but we are getting into that season now where bronzing is going to be a little bit more reached for because we are coming upon summer and people want to have a little bit more life to their skin. So I thought that I would throw out to you what my favorite bronzers are. Keep in mind that I have very light skin and that my skin is very dry. I also have a very cool undertone to my skin, which makes it a little bit pink. And so I tend to lean towards those colors that are more neutral or more cool toned. But in each of these bronzers, you can find other colors, which I think is really great. So if you're medium to deep and you're more on the warm side, you're gonna be able to find one in these bronzers, the formula is the same and you could just need to pick out a different color. So we're gonna kinda go in backwards order so you can see number five to number one. But please know that I use every single one of these. I absolutely love them. I think that all of them perform beautifully. And when I'm in a different mood, I reach for different ones. So, so my number five pick will not be anything that is you know, new to any of you. This is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This does have a fragrance in it. If you have had it before, you realize that it's a very coconutty, vanilla, vanilla scent to it. it. Smells like heaven. And I don't notice that once you get it on your face, it does last a very long time on there. It kind of dissipates very quickly, but it really smells good. If you are sensitive to fragrance on your skin though, you're gonna want to pass on this one. But the way that this blends out and how buttery and how soft this is, now this is just the bronzer color. I have had the light color in the past and it does work really well for very fair skin. And I think that this one just blends perfectly into my skin. The other thing that I like about it is is I do like that it doesn't turn me super orange. Now you can see that it is definitely a bronzing one. It's gonna give you a little bit of more of a warm look, but at the same time when I get it and I blend it out, it doesn't seem to make me super orange. So I really like this one. This is kind of a cult favorite. The packaging on it is really great. I haven't even taken the little sponge tip out of there, but the packaging has two layers. The sponge lays inside of the bottom and there is a little mirror in there. And so, this one is number five and I really love it. Right here is where I'm gonna throw a bonus one in. I wanted to say just five, but I realized as I was looking through my stuff that I really couldn't go through this video without mentioning the City Bronzer from Maybelline. This is the lightest color that they have and I find that this is just the perfect shade for me in the winter. It looks so uh, light there, almost like it's regu a regular powder. But honestly, you guys, when I get it on my skin, it's right there. I get it on my skin and it's just a perfect amount of warmth. So if you're very, very fair, this in color 100 is gonna be so good for you. And the other thing is, like I said, they do have other colors that you can step through. And the same thing on the Physicians Formula. You can step through other colors that even have a very deep one. They have one that is more along the lines of a sun-kissed or a little bit of shimmer in it, so it's really nice. But these are all matte, and I really like them. The formula is very, very creamy. It blends very well into the skin. The powder feels like silk in your hands. So I wanted to give that one an honorable mention, even though it didn't make it into my lineup. By the way, that Maybelline one does not have any scent in it at all at all. But the Milani one, which is my number four pick, does have a fragrance. This is in 01 Sunlight. And again, this is so good for me in the winter months. I do have 02 and I find the 02 is a little bit cooler and can be built up to where it's just a gorgeous color on you. But again, this one leans more along the lines of cool neutral. So if you've been looking for ones that just don't turn you bright orange, these ones that I have in here are probably your best bet as as far as that's concerned. And you can see right there, again, it's super light on my skin, which is what I love about it. It just really just buffs out. I can build it up if I need to. But the O2, the next shade over, is my perfect shade for the summertime and when I'm kind of doing some self tanning. So just keep that in mind. They do have, you know, colors on up. And I this one, has a slight coconutty fragrance. I think they were trying to dupe the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer because this is so very close to its formula in creaminess 
and in texture. And I do love that this one just glides across the skin and I never ever have a problem just buffing it out on my skin. So this is a beautiful bronzer. Keep in mind if you don't like fragrance, this does have a bit of fragrance in it, but it's not as strong as the Physician's Formula, just so you know that too. And then at number three, I love the Rimmel Radiance Brick. This is a multi-dimension shimmer brick and you can see that it has a bunch of different colors in there. So you could take your brush and swipe it across any area and get a little bit different color or just swirl it together, which is what I do, and just get one color. This does have a little bit of shimmer in it. There are tiny, tiny reflex in it. Um, not like glitter particles or anything. It just does have that tiny reflect in it. So I want to make sure I tell you that because lots of people don't care for that. But I just take my finger or sorry, my brush and I just, you know, go all the way around it. This is the number 002 medium. I found that I like this one better than the 01 because it wasn't quite as orange. Now this one does pull a little bit more tan. And as you build it up, build it up, you're going to be able to see that it does go quite a bit more tan. But but I think that because you can go into any of these colors that you want to, you don't have to just swirl it. You could go lighter over here and a little bit deeper over here or in the middle if you wanted to. I just find that the combination of these colors together is so pretty. The price point on this isn't bad either, but I do love the formula in here. It does give a subtle radiance to your skin, a little bit of shimmer without giving any glitter, without give, giving any real big shine or, you know, highlight or anything like that. And it does come in one deeper color. It might be two if I look on the website, but you can buy these at Walmart and they're not very expensive at all. And that is my number three pick. Bronzer is a little bit tricky because actually if you find a good bronzer, they're all gonna kind of be the same except for maybe the way that they apply, maybe the way that they blend out or maybe the texture on them. And so these ones that I'm showing you, they're the ones that have a really good blendability and they have really good texture on me and they don't make me look too orange. And so that's really big for me. Okay, in my number two spot is ColourPop. And it is from the Going Coconuts line and they came out with these two, they're two different colors of the bronzer in that line. So you're gonna be able to see the difference right away. So this is the lightest one and this one is coconut beach and then this one is talk to the palm so i wore this color a couple of times and i just thought you know it's a little bit too orange for me but i can see by looking at it that it's going to be a really good summertime color so here are some swatches so you can see that this one right here is talk to the palm and then the lighter one over on this side is coconut beach I love the way that these blend out and I love the color that Coconut Beach gives me. It's just the perfect color for me. It's not too warm, it's not too orange. It just makes me look really like I've got a glow on or a warmth to my skin. That's what bronzing is all about, giving warmth to your skin. Lots of people say, well, do I need a bronzer and do I need a blush both? No, you don't necessarily, but my pale skin, I just find that using both, using a bronzer kind of on the high points, you know, the cheeks, the nose, down yeah. here towards the chest and the hot and the high points on my forehead. I just find that it helps give a glow to my skin and helps give some life to my skin because I am so pale. So yes, I do use both blush and bronzer. And so I love this one right here. The Coconut Beach is my jam. But I think that this one for medium um, skin tones and I also think when you're uh, self tanning in the summer or you get a little bit more sun, I think that that's perfect for you. I also really like the staying power on these two. I like the staying power on all of them that I have said, but this one seems to have a lot of staying power so this one is my number two and then my number one i discovered like two years ago this is the l'oreal true match lumi bronze it this one does have a subtle glow to it and this feels so silky in the pan you guys i can't even begin to tell you first of all it's a gargantuan pan i don't know how anybody could ever use all of that bronzer it's a huge huge pan but this is just absolute silk. It is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. It is my favorite to reach for. I blend it across my skin and oh my goodness, you can see how it just has just the right amount of bronze for me. That's a pretty heavy swatch. So I can go in heavier and not overdo it with this, even though, you know, I tend to try and stay as light as possible, but I can go in with a little bit heavier hand. So this one is the lightest one. 
and I feel like across my face, it does give just a beautiful little sheen to my face. Not really even a sheen, it just gives a glowy look without being beaming or too much highlight or anything like that. And I just really, really love this. And I'm telling you, it's silky, it's buttery, it lasts a long time. It checks off all the boxes for bronzer for me and I absolutely love this one. So that's it for my favorite bronzers and the L'Oreal is number one. I hope that you did enjoy the video today. Please let me know in the comment section below if there are any drugstore bronzers that you're really enjoying that I didn't mention. Physicians Formula actually has their bronzer stick with which I kind of am trying to still work with. It's a cream product and kind of getting used to it still. The jury is still out on that one, but I do love the ones that I showed you. I reach for them all the time. So and hope that you are all doing really well today. Thank you so much for spending a bit of your time with me and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.